Hey, Steve Rizzo here. And right now, I'm going to reveal to you the greatest lesson I've learned from living on this planet. And trust me when I say that I learned it the hard way. It's what truly successful, happy people know about life. They know without a doubt that they become what they think about day in and day out. They are profoundly aware that the thoughts that they have about any challenge in their life will ultimately determine the quality of success and happiness they're going to have in regards to that specific challenge. Now, contrary to what most people think, it's really not the situation, the event or the circumstance that takes place in our lives that will determine our quality of life. It's really what we think about these things that makes the difference. Why? Because your thoughts have the incredible power to minimize or maximize the effect that any challenge has on you. And it's not your thoughts within themselves that gives them great power. It's really what your thoughts create is what gives them power. You see, your thoughts will create the beliefs you have about a particular challenge. In fact, the beliefs you have about anything in your life are formulated over a period of time through a consistent way of thinking. Your thoughts create your beliefs. And your beliefs, well, they write the story of your life. Now this cycle continues because those thoughts and beliefs will create the way that you feel on any given day. And those feelings will formulate the attitude that you have on any given day. And if you want to start your day with an unstoppable attitude to succeed, regardless of your circumstances, you have to make sure that your emotions are intact and that you're feeling good during the process. This is not only a key to your success and happiness. I believe a state of feeling good is at the very core of your success and happiness. Why? Because feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation and inspiration. The state of your feelings lead to the actions that you take, and those actions will eventually create a particular outcome. I, I think you get my point. I believe every now and then throughout the day, it would be wise for us to stop and ask ourselves, what kind of a story am I writing now?